about 11 o'clock this morning, uh, fire call came in here at East Pleasant Grove Baptist Church. Uh, first fire department on the scene. Fire was kind of contained in the rear part of the church. Uh, at this time, it appears to be an electrical fire. Uh, we have contacted the State Fire Marshal's office, as well as our arson investigators, or fire investigators, and uh, try to determine the exact cause. Very well could have been a lightning strike. We're not sure, uh, but, but it appears to be an accidental electrical fire. Uh, I can't come in. All these fire departments that showed up here today look like all the county showed up. Uh, I'm a member here at this church, so uh, it's, a, it's a sad day for us. But uh, we will worship in the morning. Uh, I think we're going to the East Equipment Fire Department, and uh, we ask for all the prayers from all the county uh, to help continue this church. No injuries reported. Uh, firefighters did all they could do here today. Uh, like I say, all the county it appeared that turned out here today. And, uh, we really appreciate them and appreciate what they do, their sacrifices for the county. And uh, we really appreciate that. church members to knock on our door and uh, tell us there was smoke coming out of the church. Uh, they actually saw some fire on the back corner. So my son and I, we put our shoes on and, and, and ran over and tried to see if we couldn't assess what was going on and uh, we went through just a lot of smoke. Uh, noticed on the back side there was a lot of smoke in that, in that room area and uh, looked outside at the corner and there was fire so we were going to try to we're waiting on the fire department to get here but we're going to try to start maybe trying to use some buckets to throw water on it see if we could get it out but by the time we got our buckets filled up uh, that wind it started blowing and uh, the fire just began to spread real quick so we we got out of the building and uh, not long after that the fire truck got there and they went in and but there was just a lot of smoke. The fire just had consumed the, the attic space and, and the rest is kind of history that the church is no longer. Well, we would appreciate uh, all the prayers. Uh, we're still uh, in the process of, of putting our, uh, what we need to do and how we need to do it. Uh, if, if any donations they wanted to, to give to the church, we would definitely use those uh, to help us, uh, you know, in rebuilding the church. Uh, you know, we're going to have to rebuild everything. It's it's a total loss. But uh, on the positive side, it, it is a building. It's not. Uh, there was nobody injured or hurt, uh, so the building can be replaced. So that's that's what we're going to start now. Uh, our plan is we'll meet. Uh, at East Quitman Fire Department in the morning, and we'll assess what we're going to do from from this week to the next, and and, and start putting the game plan together. Uh, but that's that's where we're at right now. 
can, one final thing, Pastor, if you will, tell us a little bit about the Bible that you were able to recover from the church. Uh, that, that Bible is the Bible we have when you enter the church. Uh, we have it, uh, uh, we, we usually had it open to the 23rd Psalm. And that is one of the things that the, the firemen were, were able to bring out. Uh, as you can see in the, in the, the picture, uh, the Bible had smoke damage, but it was, you could still use it wipe it off and, and it'll be uh, perfectly fine. So amazing to me, uh, out of all that smoke and out of all that fire, that that Bible was still intact. Thanks for your time. Appreciate it. Today we had a uh, structure fire at the East Pleasant Grove Baptist Church. Um, you know, it was, it was a very big team approach to, to fighting this fire. Um, and, and we are you know, very saddened by, the, by, by today's events and, and the situation here. Our, our prayers are definitely going out to these folks that, that have lost their church. Um, we're we're going to continue to have units on scene uh, for the next several hours, I'm sure watching up the hot spots and things like that. Right. With any time there's a church fire, uh, the State Fire Marshal's Office and the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms has to be notified. We've made those notifications and we're waiting on them to arrive. So we're, uh, again, you know, following all the protocols that we have to follow. We don't suspect anything suspicious at this time. However, it's just one of those protocols that we have to, we have to follow. The departments that responded to this fire today include East Quitman, Quitman, DeSoto, Hopewell, Thiedville, Rolling Creek, Carmichael, Harmony, and Stonewall, along with the Clark County Sheriff's Department and uh, Paratech EMS for, for safety.